Right. Hello and welcome. My name is Doug Reed with Tour Prescott. I'm a proud Chamber Ambassador. It is my privilege to represent the Prescott Chamber of Commerce as the Master of Ceremonies for today's ribbon cutting event. It is a mission of the Prescott Chamber of Commerce to provide leadership and resources to create a vibrant business environment for Prescott. On behalf of the Prescott Chamber of Commerce leadership, staff, and ambassadors, I thank you for joining us as we celebrate the new location and new owner of Visiting Angels of Prescott. Please join me in welcoming our community leaders, representing U.S. Congressman Paul Gosar's office, Jeff Tim. Yeah, yeah. City of Prescott, Mayor Greg Mingarelli. Prescott Chamber of Commerce, Lee Levin with Yavapai Regional Medical Center. Andre Carmen with Carmen Lawfer. Please also help me recognize any Chamber Ambassadors attending today. Thank you Chamber Ambassadors and fellow community business members. Visiting Angels of Prescott has a great new location here at the Crossings to better serve the Quad City and the Verde Valley areas. They also have a new owner, David Coyne. I had the privilege of working for David at UCYC when I first moved to town. Over the years, it has been my pleasure to be his friend and to watch him serve the community wholeheartedly. Along with Larry Lynn and an amazing staff of Angels, it is only fitting that he would be the new owner of this great local business, Visiting Angels of Prescott. Aww. Visiting Angels provides in-home living assistance designed to allow your loved ones to live independently at home for as long as possible. Their mission is, one of their missions is, <laughs> we believe in angels, we believe in the power of caring people helping in the home of our clients. We will brighten the day and better the lives of all we serve. Visiting Angels, America's Choice in Home Care. Once again, please welcome our community leaders as they provide their recognition of this event. Representing U.S. Congressman Paul Gosar's office, Jeff Tim. Thank you, Doug. Um, the, the mission of Visiting Angels is, is one that's unfortunately needed when folks, you know, are at the end of their lives, and and uh, I can I can definitely think forward to that time for myself, and and think that I want to be at home. So this is a an outstanding business to uh, own, and congratulations on owning it. And uh, on behalf of the congressman, I'd like to present you the certificate of appreciation awarded to Visiting Angels for your entrepreneurial spirit and business contribution to Prescott, Arizona, signed by Paul Gosar on this August 1st, 2019. Congratulations, David. City of Prescott, Mayor Greg Migarelli. <laughs> first time. I had a look at that one. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. This is a real pleasure and unique and fun opportunity for me. So I want to introduce Chris Smith. Chris is the parent owner of the parent company, something like that. Is that fair? <laughs> so Chris lives in Colorado now, but 30 years ago. I worked for Chris at a camp in Southern California, Angeles Crest Christian Camp. And one of the youth pastors that would come to that camp was David Coyne. <laughs> so David and Lori, uh, we actually were on summer staff together a couple years ago. Uh, but literally 30 years with these friends of mine, uh, it's, it's just an incredible uh, homecoming. And for me to be here to congratulate David and Lori on what they're doing, and Chris as well, to see him here. So kind of funny uh, that we're here together uh, today, and um, I'm just so proud uh, to know the coins. Uh, you know, this business fits them perfectly. David is a pastor. He's a pastor at heart. He loves people like nobody else. And I know the care that he and Lori are going to give to these people is going to be absolutely outstanding. Uh, I talk a lot about God, family, and country, and these people in our city are all about God, family, and country. 
and so their love for God and their love for people are going to make this business explode. Um, so I'm so proud, so excited uh, to have you guys here owning this business. They're very deserving. They're going to do amazing things in our city. And I'm so glad uh, that they have this business and just what you guys are going to bring to the community. So, did that without crying, which is awesome. Uh, this certificate is presented to Visiting Angels in recognition of the new owner, David Coyne, and this location. The City of Prescott officially declares today Visiting Angels Day. <laughs> and presenting the first dollar certificate from the Prescott Chamber of Commerce board member Lee Levin. Thank you, Dad. Well, I'm actually I work for uh, the Upper High Regional Medical Center, and um, at the chamber we we take we kind of sign up for these events. And when I saw this one on the calendar, I'm like, I got to do this one. Because of what you guys do, it is very it complements what we do. I mean, we take care of people in not their best of uh, circumstances, and obviously you guys do the same thing. So, one of the things that I did do, I looked on your website. And I wanted to get a better understanding of what, what you do. And the thing that's on the website that I thought was really amazing was you made the statement. You said, the stakes are high and the burden of care is heavy, very heavy. And I just think if we remember that, that that's, you know, I don't know why we do what we do. You know, whether it's in a hospital, taking care of people in their homes. So thank you for all that you do. And the, um, uh, the chamber would like to present you with our commemorative first dollar. I know you've already gotten your first dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now to speak on behalf of Visiting Angels, David Coyne. Well, thanks again for um, coming out and spending some time with us today. Uh, as Greg said, um, my faith is a huge part of my whole life, how decisions are made for me and for my family. And so I want to give thanks to God for this, you know, this great opportunity. I want to thank Lori. And uh, Austin, my son, is the only one that's able to be here today. We have one at football practice right now. and have been working somewhere. But um, you guys are the reason why we work hard. And I appreciate you. Uh, this is Chris Smith. He and I are business partners together in this venture. But hiding back in the back over there is a lady named Katrina. Uh, she and Chris uh, have the franchise in Flagstaff. So we get to partner. We have resources beyond just what's right here. Thrilled to have her. Larry Lynn is in the back hiding. Uh, she's our care manager. We have a lot of amazing caregivers. When you come inside in a few minutes, you'll see their pictures up on the wall. Real people really serving out in the community. We're thrilled to have them. Um, our purpose statement, our why statement is written on the wall. I'd love for you to read it later. But it simply says, we believe in a higher purpose that compels us to serve others with excellence. And there's a higher purpose, and it's illustrated in this simple story about a week and a half ago, uh, I was over in the Verde Valley meeting up with a new client. Husband and wife have been married 66 years. Uh, he has to get up a lot during the middle of the night to go to the restroom, and he's a fall risk. Needless to say, she doesn't sleep well. So we came in, we had a caregiver stay the night uh, and just help him so she could get a good night's rest. And I said, I looked at her, put my hand over her hand, and I said, um, you're really our client. And getting you a, a good night's sleep is our mission here today. And the tears begin to roll. That's the higher purpose that we're in. That's what we do. We get a chance to really help people. And most of the time, it's not the client, it's the family. That's the person we're relieving burden, taking away worry, delivering stress off of them and onto our team so that they can live a more productive and better life. And that's why we've chosen to be in this business. Thrilled that Chris invited us to come along. And so a very, very grateful to all of you and your friendship. We've got a lot of bright days ahead. We're just starting to really pick up some momentum in the business. There's a lot of people to serve and more coming. And we're thrilled about that. So I'm uh, looking forward to serving our community well. We love Prescott, been here 17 years and I uh, can't think of a better place to live and to work and to be. So grateful for all of our community partners. In a few minutes when you guys go inside, there's a bunch of stuff in the back that's freebies. Take it. Tell the story of visiting angels. I invite you to do that. What we do is significant in the lives of people that you know. We'd love to be able to help them out. So I invite you to take that stuff. And then Chick-fil-A catered. So when we release, please eat a lot or take a lot with you. Thanks again for the warm welcome. Woo! 
Before we gather for the ribbon cutting, I would like to thank all of our guests and community leaders for celebrating with us today. I also want to extend a huge thank you to Prescott Media Center for their filming of the, today's events. Yay. We also offer a heartfelt thanks to our volunteer photographer, Colonel Bob Shanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it is now time for the ribbon cutting. Please gather in front for a picture. After the ribbon is cut, guests are welcome to come see the office, meet the staff, and enjoy refreshments and Chick-fil-A. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You guys step forward. Don't think that they won't do it. Can you back over here? we can see you. Oh. Okay, on the is everyone in? On the count of three. One. Two, three. Yay! Come on inside, it's cooler in there.